Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right, my name is Jenna Beatty and Melody's off tonight. She's got terrible allergies, so she asked me to um, handle the class. So um, she asked me just to share what my team has been doing for like the last three months, I guess it's been now. I don't know how time just flies by. But um, since this whole quarantine um, situation happened and how we've had to pivot and everything, and I personally really feel like it's been almost a benefit to our team. I, I say you guys know what I mean by saying that, but um, so right away, we kind of everybody pivoted to online, right? So um, also a little backstory on me is I just moved to Utah about a month or so before the quarantine happened. So most of my team is where you guys are in California, Orange County. And um, so I was a little bit nervous on like, how am I going to still serve my team from Utah? But I knew God had a plan. So I didn't, I wasn't, obviously I still went, but um, so all this happened. So we switched everything to online. So I quickly decided, okay, I probably need to do an online class and I probably need to get on some sort of a schedule, do it every single week, same time, same day, just every single week. And um, that way it could be something consistent. And mind you, at this point, I had never done an online class. So it was like new territory for me completely. But I just thought, okay, by the end of this quarantine, I'm, I will have perfected the online game. And so I just kind of threw my hat over the fence and now I had to go get it. So I set up a little makeshift office. My first makeshift office was in my son's bedroom. And... <laughs> Um, he had a cute wall behind, so I just sat on the bed and did it. And so I did like three or four weekly classes that way and had all my team on. And then they knew that they could just invite whatever customers they had every single week, Thursday, eight o'clock, Thursday, eight o'clock, intro to oils class. And I was handling it for them. So um, I definitely started with just the Elise Shedevy script. And then as I got comfortable with that, I started tweaking it a little bit and adding my own. She says, don't take anything away, but you can add whatever. So I, I made it to where I was comfortable with it and it sounded more like me. And I perfected my intro, which is basically my story and how I came to doTERRA and how I came to be a wellness advocate. So like, what was the real pivoting moment for me? So I perfected that. And then I kind of started by week four, I was like over you know, myself and my spiel. So I thought, okay, well, this is great. I'm going to have this mastered by the end of quarantine. Who knew it was going to last so long? Um, but the rest of my team, you know, so I threw it out there like, hey, does everyone want to kind of take a portion each week? And so everyone was really um, excited about that, or I don't know, excited, but they wanted to get comfortable also. So we started divvying it up. Like I always, typically I always do the intro and the closing, like going over the kits and going over the, um, you know, the membership and then quickly, quickly the business opportunity. I like to keep that real. Like I just tell a quick kind of personal story and just telling people like we have something to offer here. Uh, if you want to know more about that kind of thing. And then, so the three parts in between, kind of like why doTERRA, um, what are essential oils, and then the three ways to use, and um, the three ways to use, and then the three cool things. And then I close it in the top 10 oils. I think I already said that. But so we kind of divvied up the portions and we had the script, right? And we had kind of the edited script and we all shared on a Google Drive. So everyone has the script, but if they want to do their own script or, you know, do their own tweaking, it's up to them for their portion. And it's been really working out. And so each week we kind of say, okay, who's signing up for this week? And it's, it's naturally progressed into a very well-oiled machine. It's been kind of really interesting, like what has happened over these weeks. So now we've done it consistently for about three months. And um, it's cool because when, let's say one person on my team has, you know, last week, one of them, I think two of them even had four, four people on, four potential customers on each. So they signed up for, for portions, you know, because obviously if you have people on there, 
you want to have them have them see you um, speak, you know, and we're starting to transition also into everyone perfecting their intro and then they will take a turn doing the intro and doing the close. So we're kind of loosely doing a rotation. So by the end of all of this and and we may not stop, you know, um, they've done a portion all themselves. And then now I feel like we're transitioning more. Now we've done intro to oil classes all these weeks and we're getting a little bored. So I think we're going to um, make a calendar now that we're about halfway through the year, make a calendar for the rest of the year, every other week an intro. And then in the other weeks do, um, and I have my oils now what? And then a toxic living because that's, my particular favorite one. So we're going to start with that one. And then on the months where there's a fifth week, I'm going to do um, a business, uh, like a business 101. And I feel like that'll be kind of every other month or something like that. So it'll be like kind of sporadic enough that we're not doing it all the time. And then um, the other really cool thing that three cool things. No, the other really cool thing that's happened is we have just kind of organically started staying on the call after our customers, you know, after we finish and our customers leave, um, all of us advocates just stay on the call and we've been just connecting. I mean, sometimes we stay on the call way too late. And, but it's, it's awesome. Like whoever needs to jump off, jumps off, but there's been a group of us that have just been having, so it's been a team meeting every single Thursday and we have just, I can't tell you like how connected I feel to my team now that I'm like farther apart from them and we've all been on quarantine. It's just so, so interesting what, what it has evolved. And I think it's all due to consistency, right? So now what we even do is um, we hop off the call and then hop back on on a new link so we can record it. And now we do topics. So we have like someone on our team that's, um, I know I'm going to mess up the, the major, but it's like social media. I don't think it's social media marketing, but maybe media marketing or digital marketing. She's a digital marketing major. So she did a presentation for us, um, all about, you know, how to get really good at social media and kind of the do's and don'ts and, and how to just make that easier on us. Right. Because again, we're all pivoting to social media and things like that. So, oh my gosh, she taught us so much. So we have a whole class on that and we recorded it. So now we have that, you know, and then we did a whole class on, um, the strengths if that, if anyone's taken the strengths test. So we kind of went through all that and, um, Becky on our team, she's actually my mom, but uh, she read through like what her strengths were. And then she used me as an example because people know me so they could kind of see, you know, how it actually does like portray you to a T. So that was kind of neat. And um, the benefits of doing that, you know, for the team and things like that. And then other than that, we try to have a topic now and then we record them and we're kind of just building that portfolio. Um, but other than that, it's just a time for us to connect, kick around ideas. You know, I give out updates, um, you know, just, just whatever. And then we kind of loosely like decide on what the next topic for the next week is going to be. And because I feel like we're such an well-oiled machine at it now, I mean, before it was like on Monday, we were like scheduling who was going to do the class on Thursday, you know, so we would all have enough time to like prepare and stuff. And now it's like Thursday morning. We're like, okay, who's doing the class tonight? Okay. ABC. All right. See you guys. You know, and we just get on and we handle it. Last week we did the class in 30 minutes which was a record for us. We had a few people that were like on East coast time and things like that. So we were trying to like, keep it really nice and tight. And we handled that like at the last minute, like an hour before the class, we like edited the script really quick and tweaked it and like powered through it. And it was awesome. Um, I think it's a little quick. We might like add, I, we cut out the top 10 oils completely. So I think we're going to add that back in, but if we can just keep it to right around 40 minutes, but so we've shaved it down and shaved it down. I think our first class was like an hour and 20 minutes. So <laughs> definitely each week I send out the recording and then whoever like had a portion, we watch ourselves and then we give, you know, tips like, okay, each person needs to be this many minutes or you either need to talk fast or, you know, things like that. So it's just, we've really been able to, um, perfect it. We've been able to connect. 
our team feels our energy, or not our team, but our customers, our potential customers feel our energy, feel our vibe. We've gotten really positive feedback. And I'm not sure that we'll even stop. I mean, now that the world is opening up and it's a great way for me being farther away to um, serve my team as long as they know that every Thursday they're gonna get some sort of a class. So they sample, they connect, invite, you know, and um, definitely, definitely prefer obviously person to person. It's just, there is a difference there that we can't deny that. But for what it's been, it's been working so good for us. And I think the, the other good thing that's really changed in our world is everybody and their grandma has Zoom now, either on their phone or on the computer and knows how to use it. So, and the convenience of it. And I, I do think that it's something we'll continue to do or, or at least offer because um, I think everyone's kind of broken the ice with with being able to jump on and a lot of people i think have a hard time committing we all have busy lives like too busy really and committing to those in-person classes and things like that like i was personally melody's customer for years and i never went to one of her classes even though i lived super close to her never went to one of her classes until i became a wellness advocate so for some people, I mean, obviously it didn't stop me from buying, but I honestly think I would have ordered way more on my LRP and maybe even have become a wellness advocate sooner had I been to her classes and like continued to go and things like that. So for some people, there's just a block there. And there was for me, like I'm a homebody. I don't go a lot of places. So um, having the online uh, capability in addition to like, uh, you know, we have our oil studio now in Orange County, which I can't wait to fly back and, you know, host classes there too. But I think it'll just really be um, a great addition to our business. And I love the connection that I'm, that has been created with my team. I've had, oh, and the other thing I was going to speak about is through all this, we've obviously had, um, an influx of customers and wellness advocates because so many people are either looking for natural health, you know, options, and then other people are looking for um, other ways to make money, right? We need multiple streams of money. I think that's what we've gotten clear in the last few months. And it's been really like empowering for me to know that I have something that I can plug people into right away, whether it's customers or most importantly, wellness advocates. Yeah. Just join our call Thursday night, you know, and I, I even have a couple people joining before they're even wellness advocates. Like they want to upgrade and things like that, but either we have that 90 days to wait or whatever. I'm like, join the calls, you know, take a, take a turn or get comfortable with it and things like that. So it's been really neat. And we also have, you know, like a team, I'm sure everyone has this, but we have a team email where I email out all the important things and then our like group texts and things like that. So in addition to all that, having those weekly meetings, and obviously it doesn't work for everybody every single week, but there's definitely a group of us that we're on there every single week. And it's just been really neat. And then I have the recordings that I can send out, you know, when they're Sometimes there's not always a topic and it's not always worth recording and sending out, but for the most part, it really, we've been making it, um, you know, something of value to record and to save and, and to be able to re either refer back to or send out to the rest of the team. So it's just been really neat. Um, so I just, she wanted me to share. So I thought that was really, really cool. And I love to talk clearly because I don't think I've taken a breath this whole time. But <laughs> does anyone have anything that they've been doing through this whole quarantine that's like really had a positive effect or anything you want to share with the team? You can unmute yourself. You could mention your YouTube channel. Well, <laughs> it's my name, Jenna Beatty, but I, it's not everything is uploaded yet and it's not perfect yet, but yes, I definitely, um, I'll share that when I feel like there's like a good library going. I'm trying to like keep up with that every week and like get it uploaded so I don't have to do 10 of them at one time. But well, I, I meant to, I meant to just say that that is where, um, we're uploading all of the recordings 
so that yep. it's an easy an easy place too that you can send you can just uh, send a customer the link to a class recording through that. Yes, absolutely. And that's been really um, a cool thing. I'm, I'm, maybe some of you have been doing this all along, but I'm kind of <laughs> slow at the whole online stuff. It's like a mental block for me. So I have my YouTube channel and I've been uploading, you know, I've been doing some of the continued education classes. I did such a good one, I feel like, on skincare, and my audio was messed up the whole time, and I didn't know it. So I was, like, super bummed about that. But I'm getting getting my kinks worked out. And so it's been neat to kind of create a little library and get all those um, so that I – it's, like, a direct reflection of, like, the work that I do, right? Like, here, I've done these 10 videos. <laughs> so it's very satisfying. <laughs> But yeah, it's been, it's been neat, you know, and everyone's kind of getting clear on their, um, their intro also, which I think is, it kind of took me a minute to figure out what my good intro was. And actually my friend who's on my team kind of had to point it out to me and I was like, oh my gosh, duh. You know, cause obviously I've been using oils for a long time, but there was like something that, um, that happened, which was like a huge pivoting moment for me where I like dove into my oils and then also dove into the business side or decided that, you know, this was important for me to like share. And so there's my intro, you know, right there. So that was really neat. So sometimes it takes, you know, a little bit to get your spiel perfected, get your intro perfected, kind of find that, um, that ease with the classes and things like that, especially to new people, um, just start doing it and you're going to find that groove. And it was pretty quick. I would, I mean, not quick, probably six weeks into it. I wasn't nervous anymore and I wasn't, I didn't need like half a day to prepare for it, you know? And so that's, and that's a nice feeling right now. Cause I was ooh, a hot mess in the beginning. I was like, Oh my God, I have to do a class today. Like, Oh, it was just something different about the online world versus in person, like in person, I can do it a lot easier, but now I can do this easy too. So that's been awesome. So I don't really know. Definitely. Have I even gone 30 minutes? I don't know. 21 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I would just like to say what it's meant for me to be able to take on portions of the class because I was one of those that I wanted to know Monday what my spot was. <laughs> I was going to practice it and sweat over it for three days and be so happy when it was over. And it, you know, practice is just, I get easier each time. I'm not sweating it. And I'm so grateful for that because that's going to be uh, so beneficial to me when I want to just have my own online class or even it's just such a great practice for me just doing an in-person class too. Because once you really feel like you know your script, you know, then you're not nervous anymore. And I feel like I've just grown in so much knowledge and I love hearing everybody else's way of doing it because you get so many different perspectives and you get great ideas on on what you what you might want to say or add into yours and i just think that this has been a blessing i i've had a great experience yeah i can't i obviously i never knew what this would turn into and i feel like we look so forward to it now especially even the team meetings and everything and um yeah, like I said, you know, even Thursdays in the morning, we're like, okay, wait, we have a class today. Who's doing what? And it's like so easy. And I, I even plug people in. I'm like, hey, do you want to do this spot? Like we need the spot filled and people are like, sure. And it's just, it's so easy now. And that's what we wanted to create. And so I don't, like I said four times already, I don't think that we'll stop doing it, especially for me. I can, I know that I can just provide this for my team and then, um, they can get used to it'll the trans I feel like the transition from in person to online is hard but going from for my new people that have come into this world and are learning online going now back into doing or going for the first time for them as new people going into doing this in real life it's going to be a piece of cake so I feel like we've still been able to set people up for success even through this quarantine which has just been 
been awesome and the connections that we've all the bonding and the connections that we have and everyone has something to contribute and i'm a big believer and advocate for you know dividing and conquering and whoever's good at what you do you do that and um that's how we can kind of split things up and everyone everyone has an angle or something special to contribute and so that's what we've really been focusing on and it's and i mean talking cross line and everything it's everyone's just ready to jump in and and contribute what they can contribute and it's just it's been really neat through this whole, whole quarantine it's been i don't know i feel more connected now to some people than, <laughs> than in real life before you know it's the slower paced life and then having these um these these kind of face-to-face -face connections so definitely a, a weird thing not what i expected but um it's just been really great. And even our team meetings, you know, that we've been doing these consistently on Mondays and I look so forward to them and the topics and everything. So, um, 24, see, I can't even get to 30 minutes. This is your shortest chat ever. Does anybody else have anything to share? What's been working for you or what, what maybe you want to continue even after quarantine? Somebody please share. All right, well, school's out, <laughs> literally. <laughs> well, thank you guys for jumping on. This was fun. I'll try to think of another topic to um, take another, give Melody another night, night off on Mondays. <laughs> All right, bye guys, thank you so much. Aw, hi Patty. Hey Shan, Devin. Thank you guys. That's awesome. Thank you. Aw, Elise. Thank you. Jeanette. Thank you guys. How are you? Good. Who's talking? It's Patty. Hi, Patty. Oh, I have the, the chat covering your face. Or oh, covering I'm not even showing my face. <laughs> I'm covering your name. It's, it's not cute. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's my last day of teaching today, so. I'm pajama bottoms, so don't worry. <laughs> that's, how, that's how I usually teach. I'm like, pajamas awesome. on the bottom, business on top, so, yeah. I just curled my hair real quick and. <laughs> nice, nice. Gosh, how are you? I'm doing really well. I've just been crazy busy with school and stuff, and we just finished. Um, graduation is on Wednesday, and oh you know, God. all wow. that other fun stuff. So, oh. yeah, just busy, 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 busy. So, I'm excited to be done with that so I can jump back head first into oils and get all yeah. crazy all again. Right, and get crazy busy with that. I swear, life is so hectic, like, no matter what, right? <laughs> I know. I love watching your babies though on Instagram. Oh, thank you. <laughs> My little boyfriend. I'm just going to bite his face all day long. I love that kid. <laughs> Come out to convention. Come out uh, and stay with us. I know. I wish, I wish it was still going on, you know, just so I could see the, the group again. That was a fun group in the house. Totally. That was fun. fun. <laughs> well, I'm still throwing it out into the universe that people will just come out here anyways they could stay at my house and we can take the doTERRA tour and we can watch it live on tv from my house <laughs> right <laughs> that'd be fun actually oh, Very cool. God, that that's a possibility <laughs> <laughs> nice well I just wanted to say hi to you guys so hi hi miss you and I will uh I'll talk to you soon all right for sure I'm gonna come down to California first chance I get so I'll see you at the oil studio Sounds good. You're going to love it. It's gorgeous. Oh, it's awesome. I cannot wait. Oof. All right. I'll see you guys. Okay. Bye. 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 Okay. I'm ending. Okay. Bye. Bye.